I want to just tackle one reaction in this video. So a little throwback, hopefully I don't give you a little bit too much P PTSD, but we're going to talk about how you can attack carbox or, uh, sorry, carbon dioxide with a Grignard reagent to make a carboxylic acid. So don't quiver at your computer screen, but I think you're going to see that this is super easy. Okay, so let's take this sample reaction right here. If I give you guys this Grignard reagent, and I was to give you this little reaction arrow, and say we're going to have a take this Grignard reagent, we're going to introduce it to good old CO2, and then a cleanup step of H plus or H3O plus, whatever you're feeling in the moment, right? This reaction is going to produce the following product. I promise you, what we're just going to do is draw the mechanism, call it a day, and I think you're going to see that this is very simple and you already know how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to draw some black or we'll do it right below. So remember, in our minds, when we see this Grignard reagent, we're thinking like this. Right? That's our mindset. Now, think about what we're attacking, right? We know Grignards are very negative and they like to attack positive things. Well, look no further than carbon dioxide, right? Not only is he a, kind of like a carbonyl, he has four bonds to oxygen. He is so partially positive, right? The perfect substrate for a nucleophile. Okay? So, if we kind of go down here, I'm going to redraw my Grignard reagent. Here's how we draw the arrows. Obviously, the electrons we're going to attack with are right in this bond. Sorry. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take these electrons and I'm going to attack the partially positive carbon. Right? But we know that if we don't do anything, that's a big no-no because -no we'll break the octet rule. So we've got to bounce electrons somewhere. Well, let's bounce a pair onto one of the two oxygens. Okay, so next step, I'll just draw my benzene ring again, and remember, I'm bonding from this carbon right here, and we're bonding straight to the carbon and carbon dioxide, so this is the carbon and carbon dioxide now. So I still have a double bond to oxygen, and now, remember, just a single bond to the other oxygen, because we bounced those, that electron pair on, down on him. Right, so now he has three lone pairs and a negative charge. Just one step, right? And we already knew how to do that. And remember, this is where the second step of H plus comes in. Just a cleanup step. We'll throw back to OCHEM 1. And boom, boom. Now you guys know that if you kind of need to make a carboxylic acid, you can just attack CO2 with a Grignard. And realize what this does for us, right? We took something, a six carbon, in this case, a six carbon benzene ring. And what did we do? We extended the carbon chain by one, right? So, if for whatever reason you were kind of stuck in a synthesis problem where at some point you needed to kind of just extend your chain by one carbon, you can kind of, sorry, attack with a Grignard, CO2, and then you have this carboxylic acid functional group on the end, and if you need to kind of alter them, you can go ahead and do that. So, I really think this is kind of old hat. Uh, there are some problems on the worksheet where you guys can kind of, I definitely have you draw the mechanism and predict the product. So. You know, make sure you're comfortable with this, but I think you guys will be a pro at this already. Okay, so this is one way to make a carboxylic acid, but now I want to kind of show you guys how to do that similar reaction with a nitrile functional group.